Imagine a city where futuristic skyscrapers shoot up from the sea, a blend of luxury and green living. Now, picture these streets, only to find them eerily quiet, the grand buildings echoing with silence. Fast forward to today, and it's been dubbed a ghost town, its ambitious vision taking an unexpected turn. This visionary project, while initially celebrated, has faced sharp criticism for its substantial role in habitat destruction. Walk with us through the contradictions of this city, where the clash between the high-tech dreams and environmental impact paints a complex picture of transformation. Welcome to Forest City, a modern architectural wonder that has transformed into something entirely unexpected. Forest City, located in Johor, Malaysia, didn't just spring up overnight. Its story is a tale of vision and ambition, deeply rooted in history and aspirations for the future. Let's rewind and see how this grand project came to be. Before the first stone was laid, the idea of Forest City was a shimmering mirage of modernity and sustainability. It all started with a bold vision by the developers, Country Garden Pacific View a joint venture between China's Country Garden and a Malaysian firm, Esplanade Danga 88. They envisioned something extraordinary, a futuristic, eco-friendly city on the sea. The vision was to build not just a city, but a living paradise on four artificial islands in the Johar Strait, right next to Singapore. The goal? to house 700,000 residents in a setting that's in harmony with nature. Think skyscrapers, parks, waterfront homes, all interconnected with smart technologies. What set Forest City apart in its blueprints was its commitment to green living. The idea was to integrate nature into every aspect of urban life. From vertical gardens to green rooftops, the plan was to make nature a resident of the city, not just a guest. And with the smart city concept, technology was to be the backbone, managing everything from traffic to energy efficiency. But as with any grand plan, challenges were inevitable. How to build sustainably on reclaimed land? How to ensure the city could thrive economically and socially? These questions loomed large as Forest City began to take shape. The groundbreaking ceremony marked the start of something big. Construction kicked off with a bang, as heavy machinery and a workforce descended on the site to turn the ambitious plans into tangible structures. As the construction machinery roared to life, the master plan of Forest City started taking shape. The project was massive. Four man-made islands, housing, commercial centres and green spaces, all spread across a vast area. The plan was meticulous, aiming to create a balance between living spaces and nature. But let's face it, building a city from scratch is no walk in the park. Forest City faced its fair share of challenges. The sheer scale of land reclamation was a colossal task. Environmental concerns were raised, especially about the impact on local ecosystems and communities. There were logistical hurdles too, as materials and manpower had to be coordinated flawlessly. Building a dream city comes with a hefty price tag. Forest City's budget soared to $100 billion, making it one of the most expensive urban projects ever undertaken. This massive investment was aimed at creating not just homes and offices, but a complete self-sustaining ecosystem. As Forest City's construction forged ahead, it encountered a turbulent sea of challenges. Structural issues began to surface, casting a shadow on the project's progress. Reports emerged of cracks appearing in show galleries, hotel buildings and roads hinting at the hastened construction process that may not have allowed the land, reclaimed from the sea, adequate time to settle and stabilise. This raised serious concerns about the long-term sustainability of the infrastructure. Political changes in Malaysia added layers of complexity. 
The election of Mahathir Mohamad in 2018, known for his critical stance on Chinese investments, led to policy shifts that directly impacted Forest City. A proposed ban on foreign property ownership created waves of uncertainty, significantly affecting investor confidence and sales momentum. Economic uncertainties weren't far behind. The project, launched during a time of strong economic ties between Malaysia and China, began to feel the strain of changing geopolitical dynamics. The COVID-19 pandemic further exacerbated these challenges, severely affecting sales and occupancy rates as travel restrictions and economic uncertainties took hold. The once steady stream of buyers and investors began to dry up, leading to a significant slowdown in the pace of construction and sales. In the face of these challenges, Forest City stands today as a complex mosaic of achievements and unmet expectations. While substantial sections of the city have been constructed, realising the complete vision of a bustling, fully inhabited urban paradise remain elusive. The city, initially intended to be a thriving hub, now grapples with the reality of vacant apartments and quiet streets, a dark contrast to its original dream. The architects and planners of Forest City aim to redefine urban living. They envisioned a city where skyscrapers coexist with lush greenery, where the line between nature and urban structure blurs. The goal was to create a sustainable urban ecosystem, a place where every design element contributes to a larger ecological balance. Imagine stepping out of your high-rise apartment into a garden in the sky. That's Forest City for you. The design incorporates extensive vertical greenery rooftop gardens and parks. The idea was to integrate green spaces into every corner of the city, making nature an integral part of everyday life. This green integration was aimed not only at enhancing aesthetics, but also at improving air quality and creating natural cooling zones. In the veins of Forest City flowed the lifeblood of smart technology. This city was conceived as a smart city from the very beginning, integrating advanced technologies in every facet of its design and operation. In the initial plans for Forest City, transportation was designed to be modern and eco-friendly. The focus was on reducing car dependency and promoting greener alternatives. The city aimed to incorporate efficient public transportation and support for electric vehicles aligning with its sustainable vision. Their plans included smart grids for efficient energy distribution and buildings equipped with sensors for adaptive lighting and temperature control. Solar panels were to be integrated widely, contributing to the city's renewable energy goals. Further on, their approach to waste management and water conservation was designed to be ahead of its time, featuring automated systems and advanced recycling programs. Similarly, water conservation was to be managed by smart systems. Forest City's foray into the real estate market was a bold venture, but it soon encountered significant market challenges that impacted its trajectory. The development strategy was to cater to a high-end international market, with a special focus on attracting investors from China. This was a deliberate choice considering the rising purchasing power and global investment interest of Chinese buyers at the time. The luxury apartments and high-end amenities were priced accordingly, positioning Forest City as an exclusive, upscale living destination. However, this approach had unintended consequences. The high price points, while attractive to foreign investors, were out of reach for the majority of the local Malaysian population. This pricing disparity led to a disconnection between the project and the local market, creating an accessibility gap. As a result, many of the residential units remained unsold, despite the quality and appeal of the development. In addition to market issues, Forest City's safety and quality concerns emerged as significant challenges, casting shadow on the project's grandeur. 
Reports of structural issues in some of the newly built buildings raise serious concerns about the project's construction quality and safety standards. These reports pointed to potential problems in the foundation and structural integrity of the buildings, which were constructed rapidly as a part of the massive development. One of the primary issues was the appearance of cracks in various buildings and roads shortly after their construction. These cracks raised serious concerns about the speed of the land reclamation process, which did not allow enough time for the new soil to settle and stabilise properly. This led to questions about the long-term viability and stability of the structures, as there were fears that the land was sinking and would continue to do so. Today, Forest City stands as a startling emblem of unfilled dreams. The tall residential buildings designed for luxury living stand mostly empty. The grandeur of their architecture and the state-of-the-art facilities, which should have been teeming with residents and visitors, now echo with the quietness of underuse. This stark emptiness is a shocking contrast to the initial promise of a densely populated, dynamic urban hub. The reality of the real estate market in Forest City is equally jarring. The vast majority of these lavish homes remain unsold, creating a landscape filled with vacant buildings, a concrete jungle devoid of human touch. This surplus of unsold property has not only affected the financial viability of the project, but has also contributed significantly to its ghost town status. And there you have it folks, the story of Forest City. As we've seen, the journey of this architectural marvel hasn't been straightforward. From its beginnings as a futuristic vision, to its current status as a ghost town, Forest City's story is a reminder of the delicate balance between innovation and practicality. Now, we are curious to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the journey of Forest City? Could anything have been done differently to avoid its current state? And what lessons can we learn from this ambitious project? Drop your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Your engagement helps us bring more such fascinating stories to you. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.